Welcome to TT Crypto, the go anywhere platform built for cryptocurrency traders. In this video, we'll show you how to build a workspace, place an order, and view your activity in TT Crypto. After logging in, we are presented with the default workspace, which provides us with the tools we need to begin trading cryptocurrencies. Let's create our own custom workspace by clicking on the file menu and selecting new workspace. Here, we have a new blank workspace which we can populate with some of our most commonly used widgets. We'll begin by using the widgets menu to launch our assets widget. We've previously logged into GDAX and moved funds from our Coinbase wallet and into our GDAX account. TT's assets widget displays the balance of our GDAX account, which we have available to trade through TT Crypto. Now, let's launch a market grid which displays market data for a list of instruments. We'll start by populating our market grid with crypto to US dollar pairs. In the market grid, we can add instruments using the Market Explorer by clicking Explore, selecting GDAX for our exchange, currency as the type, and we'll click Bitcoin for our product, and then finally, the Bitcoin to US dollar instrument. We can also add instruments using Search by typing their symbols into the search box and selecting our instruments from the results. Now, with all of our US dollar pairs in place, let's add Bitcoin pairs. Finally, we'll add a couple label rows. We right-click on the row that we would like the label row to appear above and select Insert Label Row. We type in our label and press Enter when finished. We can also set background colors for each label row. In addition to being able to see market data for all of our selected instruments, we can also quickly place orders using a floating order entry widget currently set to order ticket. We simply click in the Bid Quantity, Bid, Ask, or Ask Quantity cells for any instrument, and we get an order ticket pre-populated with that instrument, and, because we clicked on the current offer, the ask price. Our floating order ticket is set to close once an order is submitted. With TT Crypto, we can launch linked widgets. Let's launch a linked order ticket by clicking on our market grid, hovering over Launch Linked, and selecting Order Ticket. We will place it above our market grid. Because these widgets are linked, our linked order ticket will change to the instrument highlighted in the market grid. We can also launch widgets using the search bar at the top of the screen. Let's type Bitcoin and hover over the Bitcoin to US dollar pair. We are provided icons to quickly launch widgets populated with that instrument. Let's launch MD Trader, which provides a vertical display of prices and orders, as well as the ability to quickly enter orders. We have instrument data in the top pane, our order pane on the left for defining order parameters, and TT's price ladder displaying prices, as well as bid quantities in blue and sell quantities in red. By default, MD Trader only displays price levels that have working orders and is always centered at the best bid and offer. As bids and offer in the market change, the price display will change accordingly. Placing an order is as simple as selecting one of TT's many order types, entering an order quantity, and clicking in either the bid or ask column at the desired price level. Once we confirm our order submission, we see our working order displayed next to its price level. To more easily view a rapidly changing market, we can aggregate price levels and make the price column static. Let's right click in the MD Trader and select Settings. Then uncheck Only Available Prices and aggregate price levels by modifying the price increment per row. Let's change the setting from the default of 1, which displays every penny, to 100, which will only display prices for $1 increments and with order quantities aggregated accordingly. We now have a static price ladder, which makes it easier to place orders at specific price levels, as the price column does not change. Instead, quantities move up and down the price ladder. We can also add tabs with additional instruments in our MD Trader by clicking on the blue plus sign and selecting our instruments. Now, let's open a time and sales widget from the widget menu to display trading activity for the selected instrument. But, let's group our time and sales widget to our tabbed MD Trader. We can right click on our time and sales widget and select Create Group Widget. We match up the colored edges to group our MD Trader and Time and Sales. The Time and Sales now displays Time and Sales data for the instrument in the Active tab. In Time and Sales, we click the Quantity heading and filter out orders with a quantity of less than one. Let's also right-click on the Settings and set Time and Sales to highlight any order over three. Now, let's launch a chart displaying data for the Bitcoin to US dollar pair. We again type Bitcoin in the search bar and click the chart icon next to the Bitcoin US dollar pair. We can click on our menu icon to access the sidebar 
and select the interval icon to set our interval to 5 minutes. We'll then click on the technical indicators icon to add the volume technical indicator. We can also click directly on the chart and begin typing the name of a technical indicator, such as moving average, and click on the search result to add it to the chart. We'd like to add a new chart for Ether to Bitcoin, so we'll right-click on the title bar of our first chart and select Clone Widget. This gives us the exact same chart, and now all we have to do is click on our new chart and begin typing Ether and can switch this chart to display Ether to Bitcoin. Now, we'll quickly open an order book widget to view our working orders, and a fills widget to view all fills. Finally, let's save our workspace. We now have all the tools we need to trade cryptocurrencies with TT Crypto. When we place an order in MD Trader, we see the order on our price ladder and see it listed in our order book. We can reprice our order by dragging and dropping the working order to a new price level in MD Trader, or by selecting the order in our order book, editing the quantity or price, and clicking Change. When an order is filled, a Fills Alert widget launches so we can see the fill appear in our Fills widget. Both the order book and MD Trader, we can cancel all working buy or sell orders, or cancel all of our working orders if needed. To learn more about a particular widget, we can click the question mark icon in the title bar, which will help launch a help widget containing articles from our help library. Consulting our list of TT order types is a great place to start. We've covered some of the basic concepts of building a workspace using some of the most commonly used widgets. For more information, visit our other training videos and resources on our website at tradingtechnologies.com.